So the question says Fanny is making a rectangular blanket. Anytime I see some sort of shape, I'm probably going to draw it very badly. You'll find out that that's kind of my gimmick, is that I'm terrible. This doesn't really look like a rectangle, but just pretend. Use the power of your imagination. Uh, the length of the blanket is 10 inches greater than the width. So 10 inches greater than the width, which means I'm basing everything off the width. So here's the width. And the length is width greater than, greater means I'm adding, than means that I flip the order so the W goes in front, W plus 10. So now I have my picture drawn out, I have something to work with. Write the function that describes the area in square inches of Fanny's blanket as a function of the width. Write your answer in space provided. When it says as function of the width, what that means is they want you to use uh, w as the variable that you use. Specifically, they want me to define the nature of this based off w being my starting point. I don't know what width is, but if I did know what width was, I could totally find out something about this, or if I knew something about the area. If I'm doing a function, I need to do function of w, so function of the width. That's what that means. It's just the idea of you're describing w as your starting point, your focal point, I should say, of your function in terms of the variables. Now, with that being said, this is a rectangle and I want to know something about area. At this point you should know that area equals length times width if you're dealing with a rectangle. So if I have a rectangle that's 3 by 2, 3 area equals 3 times 2 equals 6. I know this seems elementary, but nonetheless. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's where that comes from. But you should know that. But if you forget, I mean, you could draw the thing out and go, oh, it's just length times width. So start here, and then just substitute in values that make sense for you. Uh, length, of course, is w plus 10. And width is just w. And you could stop there, to be honest. That's all they're really asking you to do here. Generally speaking, we'll put that variable out in front. So I'll say w times w plus 10. But it would also accept it if you multiplied these out. So I went ahead and did the distributive property w squared plus 10w. here and here. So that's okay too. But the reality of the question is that they want to know about the area, so you should always write the generic formula there. They ask about something that you can draw a graph of, so you should definitely do that. I mean, if you don't know it off the top of your head, the 10 ready test is a pretty big percentage of your overall grade in most cases. So it makes sense to take a little bit of extra time to draw all this out. Now, should you take three and a half minutes like I've taken on it? No, absolutely not. Um, but you don't have to explain it either. You can just sort of do it in your head. But there it is. Draw the graph and write the parts on it. It makes it easier if you kind of lose your mind for a second about where to go. Think like, okay, they're asking about this, think of what the formula is, put all the parts in, all those things, you should have everything that you need to uh, just make it work. So that's it.